Hello friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. Should I divorce my wife? Should I divorce my husband? Many of you on the other side of this screen, you've asked that question. Some of you have, have said yes. Some of you have said no. Today, Jesus gives us a little bit of advice to those who have asked that question. Let me read from Mark chapter 10, verses 2 through 12. Some Pharisees came and tried to trap him with this question, should a man be allowed to divorce his wife? Jesus answered them with a question. What did Moses say in the law about divorce? Well, he permitted it, they replied. He said a man can give his wife a written notice of divorce and send her away. But Jesus responded, He wrote this commandment only as a concession to your hard hearts. But God made them male and female from the beginning of creation. This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife, and the two are united into one. Since they are no longer two but one, let no one split apart what God has joined together. Later, when he was alone with his disciples in the house, they brought up the subject again and he told them, whoever divorces his wife and marries someone else commits adultery against her. And if a woman divorces her husband and marries someone else, she commits adultery. Marriage is one of the oddest and most beautiful creations of God. It's strange because the goal for every marriage, what we read right here, is oneness. Two shall become one, not two shall remain two. See, the problems that arise in marriage are almost always because a man and a woman get married and they want to continue to remain the same person that they were. They want to remain individuals and God's plan is that the two shall become one. Let me encourage you, remove the word divorce from your vocabulary. Remove the word divorce as an option. Live as though that idea of divorce never ever existed. Then you and your spouse focus on oneness. See, that means you live a life of service and deference to one another. And as you do, you will grow in your love and appreciation of one another. So here's my challenge for you. Go home to your spouse and become one. Serve, apologize, encourage, but leave the idea alone that you're two individuals living in the same house. Go be one. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, share it, and leave a comment. God bless.